Hey guys, welcome to another month of Project Pan Art Supply Style now. The can this pile is so big I can't number one get it all on the table, but I also can't get it all in frame on the camera. There's just no way. So we're gonna go through things one at a time. This is one of two boxes of stuff. I am currently filming this on December 9th. Um, I have purged a few more things after the end of November. This is for November's purge and use it up thing. Um, so we will go through some of that. I'm going to just include it all together in this video and we'll do an end of the year wrap up um, after the end of December for um, well, sometime in January. So let me close the art room doors and let's get to it. I almost forgot to say I used up some paint. So these two jars of homemade paint colors used them up so they're going away. Okay, first couple things I'm going to show you are from um, today cleaning off my table and reorganizing my table which is um, going to be um, some of it will be in the vlog that I just um, filmed a clip for today. Um, I will link that vlog in the video description. It's the one that includes December 9th. Um, I found this just empty envelope so I'm going to include that. This is a copy of my um, zombie doll pattern um, that's available for sale in my Etsy shop. This is a printed copy that I did. Uh, for um, um, for photographing it for the ad. So I'm going to include that. Um, this is a random bag of beads and resin pieces, bottle caps that have cute sayings on them like today's forecast chill. Um, that was just random stuff on my table so I put it in a little bag. I have these. There's a few of them. I think they're meant for pencils. I don't know why I have them. I have no idea. There's a few of them, so they're gonna go. I've got some, here's another one. I've got some paint brushes. Okay, so here's a piece of a cutting mat, um, obviously well-loved and used by me. I have a million of these. I don't need to save them all, so that's gonna go. I have some scrapers. Again, I have a million of these. These particular ones I'm not using, so they're gonna go. I have some brushes. Again, I've got a million brushes. So these are like stippling brushes. I don't, I rarely use them. I have a couple of mop head brushes that again, these, these look almost brand new. If, if you didn't have paint on the handle, you would think I never used them. Um, I also have a lot of specialty brushes that are brand new or barely used. They make different kind of marks. They were probably expensive, but again, I never use them. Oh, here's another mop brush. Um, so like these, these are like perfectly good. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, I have a few brushes that are past it. Now I'm gonna include these because the last time I went to go throw them away, one of y'all said, no way, can I have those? So I don't know if you're gonna do something like recycling with them, or I don't know what you're gonna do, make something out of them. Um, I know we've made sort of paintbrush charm um, sort of um, art room mascot things out of them in the past. You could do that. Um, but these are well loved. You can see how splayed out that one is. Yeah, so yeah, they're, but they're going to be included. Um, here's another one that's kind of usable, but yeah. Here are some that. There's just really not nothing wrong with, but I just don't use. So we're gonna include those. I have used them, obviously the handles are filthy, but they're in good condition. They're not, you know, the bristles aren't funky or anything. I found this little plastic ruler, which I don't need, so I don't know why I had that. All right. This is a big Xyron sticker maker thing. I never use it. Like, I never use it. I did recently use up the sticker paper um, roll that was in here um, to make some DIY um, stickers out of paint chips, but I didn't use the machine for that. I actually peeled it apart and stuck them on by hand because I, I just find it easier. Um, I have a small one, which I do use, but I never use the big one, so I'm gonna let it go. I do have one roll of the laminating um, cartridge. I don't have any more of the sticky cartridge, so it's gonna go with the machine. I have a few cross stitch kits that I'm never going to make. I did offer them to um, my daughter's friend Jenny because she cross stitches. She took the ones she wanted. I kept a couple that I do want to make. These are going to have to go. This one is ribbon embroidery. There we go. This one is Tinkerbell. 
and it measures five by seven. This is Popcorn Bear, and he's gonna be, it's in centimeters, eight and a half centimeters by 10. And this one is eight and a half by eight. And this is his, his friend, Biscuit. Um, I've ha literally had these for decades and I've never made them, so I don't think they're gonna get made now. I also have a Popcorn Bear bookmark. And the rest of this in this box is stuff I've actually used up, so we'll go through that separately and we'll get we'll go through the stuff I'm gonna get rid of first. And then we have this box. Ugh. Okay, the Xyron machine and its associating laminate cartridge are gonna be in a box together. I am gonna mark said box. If you want the large priority mail purge box that includes that machine, please specify that in the notes on your order. If that is not listed on there anymore and I've taken that out, that the instructions for that, that means it's not available. Um, or if you wanna know if it's still available, message me before you place the order. Um, I'm gonna have two boxes. I'm gonna mark it on the outside again, but and then I'm gonna seal it shut. Okay, this one has some old planners in it. Now this one I took the rings out of a long time ago because I used it as sort of a art notebook holder, um, wallet thing. Um, I don't have the binder rings to put back in, so um, it is what it is. <clears throat> this one is nothing wrong with it. It's got this nice pocket on the outside that you can put marker, pens and markers in. Um, it's a six ring. Um, it has um, watercolor paper in it and to-do list paper. Um, there's no calendar in here, that's long gone. But again, nothing wrong with it. I just, how many planners does one person need? Empty watercolor palettes. They're, again, perfectly good, nothing wrong with them. Empty plastic palettes. I have two of the small watercolor ones. I have one large one that used to hold my Daniel, oops, sorry. My Daniel Smith watercolors, it's got some schmutz on it. And then I've got one this size that held, held, used to hold the Paul Rubens paints. It came in this. Um, got some stamp sets because I did a stamp set purge. So I've got this one, this one. These are gonna be at random in the boxes, so I can't, other than the Xyron machine, I have no idea what ones you're gonna get. Um, some more printables that I, I printed this to do um, pictures and things like that, and so this is just extra. A few more plastic palettes. A pen, ballpoint pen. Um, these are brushes. So these are um, intended for makeup, but you can use them for travel watercolor, which I did. This is an e.l.f. brush, Sonia Kashuk. Is that her name? Oh, it goes that way. They work great for watercolor brushes, and, and I used to use something like this. These were my backups for a long time. I don't need them anymore. This is actually a Da Vinci paintbrush. This one's an actual paintbrush. And this one actually has never been used. You can There's still the, the uh, sizing on the bristles, so all you need to do is get it wet and then it'll be fine. I actually never use this one. There's a little random charm. You might find random charms and things in the box. There's some minion minion cards. I'm gonna actually split those up and put them some in each box. Minion playing cards from the mo minion movie. Here is another cutting mat. This is actually a piece of the mat that's actually on my table here because the mat is bigger than my table, so I cut part of it off to make it fit. And so I'm gonna put this, so there'll be a mat in each box. And then we have a bunch of old work basket magazines. Now when my grandmother passed away, um, she had hordes of magazines. I didn't realize how she literally saved everything. I didn't realize that before she passed away. I don't know where I was living under a rock or something. Um, and so 
These are from like 1960s to 1980s. I don't think there's anything newer in there and they might have discontinued them in 1980s. I don't remember. Um, but there are some really old ones. 1987, 1983, 1950. So there are some older ones, but no newer ones. So I'm going to split these two, there's two stacks of them. So I'm gonna split them up, one in each box. Great for junk journaling. I'm gonna put some plastic pallets in each box. Maybe. That one smelled like really big. Oh, that one fits. Okay, well, we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna put, um, there's four stamp sets, so I'm gonna put a couple in each box. And I'm gonna split all this stuff up between the two boxes. The only difference between the two boxes, I mean, everything's at random. I'm gonna split the, the cross stitch kits up between the two boxes that, and we're embroidery kits. Um, but one is gonna have the Xyron machine in it and one won't. So if you, again, want the Xyron machine, um, um, it will be listed that it's available in the product description. If it's no longer in the description, it's not available. But if you want to be sure, message private message me first before you place the order. Now, that being said, put this box on the ground. This last month, I tried hard to go through things. Now, one of the things I used up, but I don't have anything to show you, is stickers. So I've been going through a lot of stickers, not only homemade ones, but store-bought ones. Every night I'm using sticker on my... Um, um, daily drawing journal and where I put the quotes. I use stickers on there every single day. Um, I'm finding though that as I'm using them, I'm also making custom stickers. I'll probably never like lessen my sticker pack. I do enjoy using them and now I'm remembering why I have so many. Um, I also though used up a thing of Yes Paste. I used up two white gel pens. I used, I used up three rolls of washi tape. I don't remember what was in here, but I had something in here that I used up. I have no idea, but yeah. Um, this is dead. So I did do a purge of ink pads and was using up ink pads or purging the ones I'm just never gonna use. This one, I don't even know how long I've had it. It's completely dead. I could get a reinker for it, but honestly, I have other brown ink pads. And if I ever decide I need this particular color, I'll just go get a new one. But this just completely dead. And I did actually use up a spool of thread, which is shocking. I know because I have so much thread, but you know, like other things. So I did use up some stuff. Uh, I did purge some stuff. I did find some stuff. I'm just like never going to do anything with and they need to go away. <sighs> and it feels good. So I'm able to find the things I truly want to use and that I have, and I love that. And the other things that are just taking up space and uh, bogging up my creativity are going away, and that is a good thing too. So if you are struggling with what to make and how to make it, maybe you're like me and you need to do a churning of your supplies. So I, Just found a random sticker, sorry. I am losing all train of thought. I, 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 okay. So I periodically will stop creating and do some of this cleaning and churning stuff. So that works for me because I find for me, the cleaning and churning and reorganizing of my art room and my space is part of my creative process. So when my muse has taken a deep breath and doesn't immediately have an answer for me about what to do next, I know that means that she's overwhelmed by the space and we need to churn and clean and redo the space. And that's part of our process. So I don't know if that'll work for you, but it definitely works for me. You might wanna give it a try. 
I, it also, to be honest, feels good being able to pass supplies on to you all or donate them to a local charity. There's a few of them here in town that I do that to. So I love that too and being able to pass some of these things on that are just getting neglected and not going to be used in a dark corner of my space. And I see another drawer across the way I need to clean out. Anyway, uh, I digress. <laughs> um, but it feels good being able to um, pass these items along to other people who can use them rather than letting them sit and collect dust in my art space. So think about that for yourself. In the meantime, the um, link for the Etsy listing for the large priority mail uh, purge boxes is in the video description. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and if you could support the free content here on YouTube or in the Facebook art groups, I sure would appreciate that. You can, of course, do the obvious and shop in the Etsy store, but I also have Patreon, a PayPal tip jar. There's a bunch of things. There's um, the YouTube community membership tab thing. Um, so check it out. And if you have a favorite content creator besides myself, maybe think about supporting them because I know everybody is struggling right now and they certainly could use the help. Um, and if you can't find a way in their video description or something else, maybe ask them. Um, and see if there's a way that they have uh, preferred for you to help that support them. Uh, that's it. I'm going to pack these boxes and maybe add a few extra bonus items, which I do usually do. And I will see you all in the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear a mask. Uh, like I said, like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, And please go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.